Students um, have been told that they need to find a, um, an address for the author of the book that they are reading right now because we're going to be sending an actual letter to them. Um, most authors um, we have in the past been able to find a printout address to send in the mail. There are a few who prefer to use email. So I'm going to walk you through the process um, that we went through in class and students do have a handout that walks them through this as well. So we started by going to Google and going to the Chardon Public Library um, because they have a special website um, or a search engine that helps us locate um, biography information. So the Geauga County Public Library, the easiest way I found was just to Google it. And if you look at the the little information bar at the top. If you click on research, there's a drop down menu and you want to go to selected websites, which brings us to this page of selected websites. And we want to click on information databases. If you go down here to contemporary authors, contemporary literary criticism, and then there are two options here from an in library computer and from home with a library card. Um, even though we are not in the library, I can do this at home and it still works. So uh, click on that first link. And the author I am reading is Edward Bloor. You can see that I've already done this search before. And sometimes there will be more than one uh, author posted here. Sometimes it's the same author with different information. So you kind of have to maybe click on here and read through the information. If you're very, very lucky, um, you will get one link like I did. It's very important that you spell your author's name correctly though or this will not bring anything up even if it's close. So one thing this is going to do is tell you if your author is still alive and we did talk about this is not the most updated website um, but it's as close and um, as we can find it has a pretty comprehensive list of all the authors so we're going to go with it. So Edward Bloor, according to this, is still alive, so that's good. And I want to scroll down until I find personal information. Um, and this should tell his address. Now when I look at addresses, it does give a home address, but it doesn't give me a street address. It just tells me the city and state. So that obviously is not going to work. Um, he does have an email. At this point, if this is all I can find, I want to print this page. So if you go to your menu of print, preview and I just want to print the part that has the personal information. I don't want all four pages. So when I print this I just want to print page one to one because this is the email here on page one. Now if I haven't found an address I still want to go one step further and try just googling um, my author's name because most authors are going to have um, like a fan web mail or a website for fan mail. And we can see the official site of author Edward Bloor. And either along the top or the side or the bottom, we are looking for a link that's going to give us something about biography or contact information. And Edward Bloor does have a contact info, but again it says if you would like to contact him, please email. So I'm going to print this page out and this is what I will bring to class on Friday. Um, students, even if they're only going to email, still need to bring two envelopes to class to practice the process of addressing an envelope, um, but they do not need to bring stamps. The only other exception to bringing stamps is if the author is from another country. Um, I will take those to the post office and get them weighed, and then I will tell students how much they need to bring in if they want to have their letter mailed. Um, Okay, so hopefully this will help you if you need some help in figuring out how to find your author's address. Unfortunately, it's a little bit easier to find some than others, so good luck, and if you need help, don't wait till Friday to ask me.